The COVID-19 pandemic presented many challenges for the team. The school was closed, so we didn't have access to the shop. Because we couldn't meet in person, all of our meetings were on Zoom. But even with all of these obstacles, the pandemic couldn't stop us from doing what we do best. The switch to online was definitely pretty confusing for all of us at the beginning. Although it was a difficult transition, our team rose to the challenge and was still able to be creative and collaborative to make yet another great year. Do you like it? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> We had spent months and months designing pretty much every robot conceivable for the 2020 game, and uh, and we were able to get into the shop right towards the middle of the 2021 build season. It was kind of a culmination of like all the work we had been putting in for the past year. Uh, we had some fa veteran fabrication students with Leia's at their home, and also some new students with Leia's at their homes, and they would hop on individual Zoom calls. The veteran member would kind of guide the new member through making a part. We designed a small device that allows kids on the autism spectrum to communicate with their coaches via an app and block out extra noise, preventing overstimulation. Six and seven days game submission. We started preparing very early in the season. We had a great team that learned a lot about what made certain seasons really great. We also wanted to make sure that we had a cohesive theme throughout the entire game. This year has been unlike any other that I've experienced in my time on the team. Of course, every year is different, but this one completely subverted my expectations. I think what inspired me most was seeing every single student come together and work against these challenges to continue to accomplish our goals of education, empowerment, and excellence that allowed us to have yet another successful year.